You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of this get too far ahead of you. So, Averb and DNA obviously are on their way to having a battle, and their promotion has been epic. I stated earlier, um, I was talking about when people were giving Cassidy so much credit on promotion and what he did. But honestly, I said, and I quote, Y'all let Cassidy serve y'all bad dope twice in the same year, but called it promotion. Laugh my ass off. Let's not ignore that DNA and Averb are doing to promote their upcoming battles. And, you know, don't forget what they're doing to promote their battle. These guys are going back and forth. They're making videos. They're talking shit. Verb is actually promoting this battle. You know, when it first was announced, a lot of people were saying, oh, no, I don't want to see it. They ain't got no backstory. They ain't talking shit. But they have been promoting actively videos, what all the things that you can say. So Averb took my tweet and added URL. This is only right, man. Y'all bust open a bag for Lux and he said nothing. I only deal with real shit. And y'all know I don't pull and at least make a video and say y'all value what we doing or I go silent and just show up and rap. You know, we've seen a lot of battles where people just show up and rap. Now, when that does happen, I'm not saying that the battles don't still turn out to be good because a lot of the times when people show up and just rap, the battles do be good. But we like the promotion, the back and forth, the shit talking, how you got Rex and Rock. They going back and forth. They talk crazy to each other. And now Hollow and um, Danny, they starting to talk. They, so we like a good fight. You know what I'm saying? We, we, I, me personally, I know I do. But uh, DNA jumped in there and said, one thing I will say is me and Verb know how to promote a battle. And off that alone, the bag needs to be raised. All this Cassidy y'all made y'all forget. Niggas who actually know how to battle can promote better. Basically saying that people who know how to actually rap can promote better than... See, Cassidy is a phenomenal promoter. I won't take nothing from him. And I know a lot of people be like, oh, you hate him. No, I really don't because trust me. <laughs> trust me. I made some good money with Cass and all, not with him, off him. Sip, sip while you sip and don't trip. That's the Hennessy tonight. But uh, I made some good money off of him. When Cass comes around and he does his promotion and he does his battling, you know, it's a, what a time to be alive. Because Cass is going to talk, he's going to talk crazy. He's going to say, I'm 5,003 and 0. I ain't never lost. Whoever beat me, he's going to go out there, he's going to talk a good game, he's going to lose the battle. You know what I'm saying? If you look, on the app and in all the votes, he's lost damn near every round except for the first round versus goods. He's lost every round since then. It's just so it is what it is. I'm not here to debate or hate. I just call it what it is. So with that being said, the promotion for these guys should be acknowledged. Well, it just don't matter. I'm just so fucking ugly. It just don't matter. I'm ugly. Fuck it. Those are the guys you be scared of. Those are the guys you be scared of. You don't be scared of the guy who shoots somebody once and goes sit Semen. I'm from my heart is buried in semen. I'm from my heart is buried in semen. I'm from my heart is buried in semen. I think that it, it should be because they have went out of their way to promote the battle, and that's not saying that it's something that should not be done. Like we should have more battlers that are out there actively trying to get people to buy into what they're doing, sell their fights. We we speak this all the time. You got a lot of battlers that people say. You got a Rum Nitty. Rum Nitty is a phenomenal batter, battler, does a lot on stages, does crazy in small rooms, but a lot of people feel like what the next step is to put him on that supreme high level, because when it comes to rapping in bars, like he's already there, but what makes him the household name, that global entity, that star, is the promotion or promoting himself, like not even, not even promoting battles, it's promoting himself. Like, Rum Nitty will battle, and you won't hear from him or about him until his next battle. And it's a lot of people that are like that. If they're not actively battling, they fall by the wayside because they don't promote themselves in a way that makes people stay engaged with them. Like, guys, like, even if, even if you look at uh, Ace I mean, brand new artist, but he's always active. He's on Twitter every day. He's doing what he's doing. He's got his music. He's got his shit talking. And he keeps himself in a relevant realm. And people like that are always going to stay booked because in Battle Rap, it's all about names, 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 popularity. That's why you see a nigga like New Jersey Twerk get booked every fucking day. I've seen this nigga get booked twice in the same fucking day. Of course, he's going no show one, but it is what it is. <laughs> 
<laughs> it is what it is. All I'm saying is he's going to stay booked because he stays relevant. His name stays bubbling. With the verb and DNA battle, it's like, yeah, you can have your opinion on who you feel like is going to win, whether it's verb, whether it's DNA. I mean, that's cool and all, but what they're doing is epic, you know what I'm saying, like to me. And honestly, Lux wouldn't have came outside and really spoke about nothing, even up until the face-off, if Verb didn't really chastise him and really get him to come out. Because he really, he wasn't tweeting. We had, we had fucking blogs on the fact that he, he didn't even put out a tweet. He wasn't sharing a flyer. He didn't have an Instagram post. He didn't have none of that shit. But when he's like, you know, yo, I ain't really got to say nothing because when it, when it all goes down, when the sun meets the moon and the stars, the evolution of the light is gonna let y'all know that that I ain't got to do all that. You know, you just you just talk a good fight. You ain't really set. like we was like, yo, Lux, I get it, I get what you're saying, my nigga, but we want some shit talking. You know what I'm saying? Can we get a tweet? Can we get a, a post? Can we get something? That's what we want. I know as a um avid fan of battle rap, you want to see who you got picked or who you're advocating for to really be like nah I'm finna show up here and smoke this nigga and I think a lot of Verb's uh, thoughts and ideas came when the battle was first announced he seen a lot of the polls basically said he was gonna lose a lot of people had him losing he was like oh word y'all got me losing nah fuck that and he was just saying y'all gonna see what I do and he's been this has been going on for a couple of days now I'm actually just blogging about this but it's been going on for a couple days. Verb has now put out videos, um, DNA has put out videos, and they're basically going back and forth. And hopefully the battle turns out to be as good as the promotion. Like that is usually um the downfall in a lot of these situations recently. We know we know that uh the ball from Philly, his battles ain't been as good as the promotion. The promotion has been hella spectacular, but the battles haven't added up to it. Even with uh my man Randy from Harlem, his battles don't equal a promotion. He could talk some extremely good shit. He could jump on 15 Minutes of Fame. He could jump on hip hop. He could jump on any camera and, and he could sell you that shit. He could make you think, damn, we're going to get a flashback performance. And then he show up and bring you a bad batch. And you're like, man, this nigga got me again. So with that being said, I, I just want to see the promotion as a fan and I'm sure y'all do too make sure y'all jump in the comments and let me know what y'all think is Verb and um, DNA really promoting to a level that y'all would like to see them at or do y'all even care about promotion I know some people probably don't even care they like man whatever I don't give a fuck as long as they show up and bring me a battle that I want to see promotion really don't mean nothing but to a lot of us to a lot of us promotion means a lot um, before I get up out of here congratulations to Carmelo Anthony He's um, signed with the Portland Trailblazers. He's going to help out Dame Lillard and CJ McCollum out there in that Western Conference. Now, what I will say is uh, if Carmelo Anthony can check his ego at the door and realize that you're being brought to Portland to play a role rather than to be Melo, the, the superstar, you know what I'm saying? If he comes there and realizes that that's his role and that's what he's going to be doing, I think he can help out because I think Melo can still score at least 10, 15 points a game in this league. I, I, I feel like that. But um, he obviously got ostracized and blackballed because his relationships with his past couple teams really didn't go that well. But I, but Carmelo Anthony is still a prolific scorer. Um, once you learn how to ride a bike, you'll never forget. So Carmelo Anthony, I know he knows how to score, but he's going to have to help out in Portland because CJ McCollum, I'm going to be honest with you, he's all right. He's a good player, but he, I don't really feel like C.J. McCollum is a max player. Like, I know that the, the way the contracts are structured and the way the deals work that these guys get, everybody get a max deal. You get a max deal. You get a max deal. Everybody get the max. Fucking Mike Conley got a max deal. I don't feel like he's a max player either. And I could go on and on and on about this NBA shit, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, well, we'll see what it works. Hopefully, uh, we see Carmelo do some good things. But if you already know what it's doing, what it does, so you ain't got to ask what it was. Fight or fly, tell your mama I said hi. Thank <laughs> you.